Hello everyone, welcome back to Design Fusion Tutorials. I'm Sahil Laswani, an application specialist at Design Fusion, and in today's tutorial, we'll explore setting up a frequency response analysis in SimCenter 3D. This follows on from our previous video on modal analysis, and if you haven't watched that yet, I highly recommend starting from there as we'll be using the same parameters for constraints and solution steps. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. First, let's begin with a static load case to observe the body's behavior without considering the frequency effects. We'll use a linear static solution type and apply pressure on the bumper constrained in the same way as it is in the modal analysis. Now to do that, you don't need to perform all the selection steps again. SimCenter allows you to copy parameters to different solution types and subcases. Select the constraints that you need from the simulation navigator and click add to active solution. Or you could also just drag and drop it to the solution you need. After setting all parameters, we'll solve the simulation and check for maximum displacement values of the bumper. The displacement values seem okay and the stress values are also below the yield strength of the material. So let's proceed ahead and start with the frequency response analysis. The only difference is that we'll be substituting the static load with a frequency dependent load and adding forcing frequencies for the system. So let's set up the solution using solution 111 modal frequency response analysis and add the frequency dependent load by creating a frequency excitation set. Now I'm going to copy the pressure load set from the static case since we're using the same surfaces and magnitude for the load. All that's left is to define the free forcing frequencies for the system. Now SimCenter allows you to select what type of frequency list form you require and limit it within the range you like. For the constraints, we'll apply the same constraints as we have been using for modal and static. Now with all parameters in place, the simulation is ready to be solved. Once the simulation completes, we will plot a frequency graph against displacement. Now this will help us identify critical natural frequencies to avoid bumper deformation and system failure. And that's how quickly you can perform a modal frequency response analysis in SimCenter 3D. Thank you for joining me. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time, happy analyzing.